All right, welcome back to the Tony Hawk Marathon. Uh, one quick announcement, just picking one from my my list. Uh, SGDQ Summer Games Done Quick is coming up June 26th to July 3rd. Uh, price missions are open. And uh, it's not right now, but starting June 15th, all subscriptions, bits, etc. that JDQ gets uh, will be going to Dr. Without Borders. So go to gamesdonequick.com for more info on that. All right, so... Uh, I, I I was trying to think of an intro for Tony Hawk's Underground 2, and really the greatest like connection I have with it is seeing people do the story mode in like three minutes or something like that. So it's very short. Yeah, I'm I'm like, really looking like, forward to this. A high octane run is like a good eight nine ten, <laughs> eight nine less than ten minutes definitely. Well, yeah. Well, anyway, Pokemon Ace, take it away. What's up? I'm Pokemon Ace 101, aka just Ace, and this is. Tony Hawk's Underground 2, easy all goals, so it's going to be longer than six minutes, um, <laughs> but not by a whole lot for being all goals. And joining me, I have... Uh, I'll go first. Uh, I'm Andy THPS. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Andy THPS. I was a production tester at Neversoft on this game, and this is going to be wild. I didn't know that you could speedrun this in, what, 10 minutes? So this is going to be like a, I don't know... <laughs> a dev react situation I for me. Uh, to be honest, I think we're just blowing like Andy's world away just by just today alone. He he yeah. thought these games were a lot longer and he's seeing this. He's like, wait, you can beat that that fast? <laughs> yeah. The one pain point I remember is doing the Steve O bull bit. So if oh, I get to see you suffer through that, I'll be happy. Oh, don't yeah. worry. There'll be plenty of that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the Packle. Uh find me on twitch.tv slash the Packle. I speedrun practically at one point every single Tony Hawk game. Uh, but well, let's go and get started. Uh, this is a good run. All right. Before we get started, I actually want to point out a small clarification about this run. So this is actually going to be New Game Plus, which differs from New Game in the way that, one, we can use unlockable tricks, which um, an important one will be Hot Rod. You'll see a lot of that, so get used to it. And two, the secret skaters that you unlock, such as Mr. Bren Frank here, uh, they're normally like grayed out on the screen, so you can't edit their tricks before the run, like with your save. But we can do that in New Game Plus. I just like to run this because it's, you know, a little bit easier, a little less restrictive. But uh, other than that, I'm pretty much ready to go. So, three, two, one, and start. So it's time for instant suffering. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> we're, we're, we're starting off. He is going to start off with this arcade machine and I'm going to try getting into this door right here to get a special, special guest skater. And immediately with Jesse James, he is going to do three uh, car hops. We'll see how well that goes. Because this is a notorious part of the story. Yeah, there we go. There, there, there we go. So already started. Pain, suffering. Very difficult, and especially to do fast. Luckily, it's that, not. That wasn't too bad. It's not as strict on all goals because you have to go over here and race Polly anyway. There's a few goals like that where um, you need a specific character to do them, so you kind of need to go out of your way. And I try to route that in as best as possible, but it's not always doable. Oh, uh, uh -oh, oh shit. Saw right there. He just did a backflip. Um, <laughs> oh my god, good start. No, he did you look? Oh my lord, no. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I, I start. I bashed um, my head against the. All right, so that's actually. The day is complete. Jesse James can't bail, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that's actually really bad because now my like, the car cycles are thrown off, and that's gonna like I'm gonna have to route on the fly essentially because I'm used to where the car should be. All right, time for the for certain action. goals. So that's gonna be great. We'll see how that works out for me. Sure you got this. I believe in you. Um, one thing I should say is on the PC port, graffiti tags are broken. You're not stuck in place the entire time. So I can just kind of hit Y and then immediately run away. Oh, I thought it was because you like ran into the ped and they like bumped you. But you could just awesome. do it on any of them. That's so yeah. the biggest issue is that this game, as with all the games, as a friend, is really hard to run on PC. Um, we used to use a mod called The Mod. That was just the name of it. I, I still um, use that because I'm a boomer, but yeah. <laughs> And one of the one of the things that one one went, went with the mod was as well as willing you to get and to play the game on modern operating system is that it allows you to like move away from tags for some strange reason. We just kind of like because we've used it for so long, we just kind of allow it because that it was either that or you had to hex edit out the ability for you because when you go into focus, 
on anything from Windows 7 and above, it would do this weird green thing and you would not be able to honestly use focus at all. It, it, it's just unplayable. All right, um, so the mod makes it easier. Also, shout out to this trick. Yeah, so you may be noticing that uh, I'm sketching the seaworthy vehicle. I'm not. What you do is you sketch it, hold back, and then immediately hold up while you're still unsketching it. And that'll put you in that weird state where you're still doing the mission for some reason. We knew about this glitch a long time ago. I did it on accident, like casually. But uh, Crystal Kamikaze actually somewhat recently figured out how to do it on purpose. So that saved a lot of time in Boston. Not like this Boston's good enough to need that time save anyway. So. Yeah, it's been, it's, been, it's been okay, Boston. Eh. Okay. Ooh, we'll transfer the ladder there. Have you seen me play this? <laughs> That's when you know. So you'll notice a lot of these, like once you get the out of the way stuff, like certain characters or like weird parts of the level, a lot of it just devolves into getting like 16 goals within five seconds, just because the way this is laid out, it's more open world than say like Bug 1 or Thaw. So everything can just be done very quickly. And if you watch the Thug one, uh, hello? Can I do shifty? Okay. There we weird. Go. I wasn't that offbeat, I thought. Anyway, <laughs> um, I have everything except for up grab bound to a cat bag called F shifty. But this game's slightly better question mark than Thug one because you can't actually do the shifty like if you see me try to do the actual trick. It doesn't work. I have to use the real shifty for it to count. Oh my god. Checkmate, speedrunners. Yeah. Take that. All right, I'll take it over. All right, that was uh, interesting, we'll say. But we're done with Boston, and we're on to arguably the worst level in the game because of Mr. Stevo. Stevo. Let's get going. There's no word in the English. Lexicon that could describe most speedrunners' hatred for Steve-O in this game. Is... Every morning when I would show up to work and I'd have to do a run through of the game, I would just dread like me the mechanical bull. Just like, oh, here we go. Like, just, yeah. just get through it. Basically, it, what makes him years so. Later, it's the same way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what makes him so awful is he has this goal called Bull vs. Bull, where you need to like get enough speed and run into the bull. And sometimes it just refuses to work. It basically RNG. We don't have any good way of consistently doing it aside from just sending it and yep, you know, uh, cool. Right there. Good but start. we do have one backup spot because we need to get the thing anyway. And nope, cool. Yep. And it right, starts. So, <laughs> yep. Uh, so the bull is, uh, as far as I'm aware, is also on a global timer. He has his own preset route he'll follow. Yeah. Um, so you just have to meet him. But you have to get everything else along the way. Like you just have to pray and just hope you hit them. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Finally, because that, right, that wasn't. Wait, is there still a goal where you have to jump using the poop as a kicker and hit yep. the bowl? Okay, it's easier to do that with um, skaters. Okay. Yeah, you just have to do a grab trick off it. You don't have to like land on the bowl off of it. Thankfully. Also, did we get to hear him say, "My bowl's rad"? Yeah. Uh, very oh, briefly. Yeah. Good. Sorry, I know <laughs> my commentators don't have audio since I have to stream my monitor for some reason. This game it's is not playing nice. Totally fine. We, we could just imagine it, but and uh, then block yeah. it out. So yeah, it, if this was it a it run, me in my nightmares. So I can I can hear it right now. <laughs> Steve-O killed this run. If this was a you know an actual attempt, but you know we're done with him. We can forget about it. Move on with our lives. Oh, that was not a grab. That's a tissery. <laughs> All right, we did it. <laughs> the hardest part about Barcelona, especially if Stevo decides to not cooperate, is all four of your skaters need to do a 5,000 point combo off of him by launching. And the cycle I'm used to uh, depends on getting bull versus bull when I need to get it. So now he's going to be God knows where, and I'm probably going to have to spend like an extra minute chasing him down so that's fun but maybe i can get him right here no okay he's gone Forge it. thought he'd be about there okay. but i was incorrect another theme as you can tell with all this is uh tony hawk games are if something doesn't go in the right direction once maybe twice if you've got a good backup 
everything is so off kilter when it comes to like strats that you're losing so much time. You wouldn't think about it, but these short runs get insanely optimized and one small mess up, even by RNG, can just ruin everything. Don't touch the ground, uh, by the way. This is a good one. <laughs> a small thing I should probably mention that you didn't see it there because I, you know, play around it. But another glitch with the, I don't know if this PC, okay, that counted, sure. Um, PC port specific or the mod is in Barcelona, actually, I still need to do this one. In Barcelona and Skatopia in specific, when you do the last graffiti tag, you'll actually get like soft locked and you can't move anymore. So what I had to do there is what, oh my God, I <laughs> got dropped from my combo, cool. What was that? You didn't land, did you? No, I game thought I did. No, anyway, dude. oh my god. <laughs> oh no, dude. <laughs> Any devs in chat? Yeah. I hope the devs fix this one day. <laughs> I have never tamed one of these people. Oh, that's good. Okay. That okay. Was, that was We're done. What I was trying to say right, is I need to use the arcade machine in end current run there because that, for some reason, unsoft locks you after spraying the last tag. So. Mm. That arcade machine was far more important than it looked at first glance. Yeah, these games are on PC are not, uh, not fun sometimes. Um, it gets worse the further you go back to it. Like, THPS2 oh. is a nightmare to run, for example. Got the cutscene skipped there and was not ready to act on it. What? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, this really yeah. takes me back to playing um, this game. Like, I'm accidental playing, sprays. I'm playing Thug 2 right now. That's all I can say. <laughs> it's true. It doesn't there matter go. how good I was playing in practice. It all comes unraveled. But yeah, very, you know, cool knot of spins. And I focused the second too late, so I didn't get the focus combo to count. And I did not grind that. Thankfully, focus combos you can do with anyone here. And I'm sorry if I'm glossing over a ton of the actual goals I'm doing. There's just so many that I... We do, we do things so fast. We don't have enough time. Yeah. We'd be here all... You'd be here for, like, hours afterwards because every minute change, Dude, every minute... Earlier, problem. we're doing the Tony 1 and 2 speedrun. Someone was, like, explaining a goal, and then we literally progressed through an entire level while they yeah, were Yeah, that, that that's the problem. Seconds. Oh, yeah. I love when that guy comes and blocks the paint can. <laughs> Just take Wait. him out. <laughs> Get down, Mr. President? Is that just what yeah. happened? Yeah, so <laughs> aside from Steve-O, you also have throwable objects in this game, which is probably the second worst part of it. It's just so inconsistent. And Being able to move while spraying is like yeah. such a awesome It's a luxury, thing. for yeah. sure. Yeah, at this point, we just allow it because of the mod. Yeah, sorry. This is technically feeding, I guess. Also, shouts to Polly being the reason, like, Thug is ruined forever. Yep. Um, so there, there's a goal coming up. I can I can try. Yeah. Um, there's a goal coming up uh, that used to require Polly. It would be you have to do a sit flip and do like a a acid drop down to a ramp. And Ace had this wonderful idea that hey, what if we had a custom trick called Sit flip, would it count? It does. <laughs> you can do it on any skater, have that, and that was the birth of Catbag. Yep. Um, and then it was found out that it also works in Thug One, so we can also use it in Thug One. It's, it's, funnily enough, it was discovered in this game, but it's much more powerful in Thug One. Yep. That was the day I solidified my role as the villain of the speedrunning community. And it all yeah. went downhill from there. <laughs> then we found out that years ago, prior, George talked about it in some speedrun podcast. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> that was so, cool. <laughs> not only did I instantly become the, the villain of the bug franchise, uh, it turns out I don't even get the credit of discovering it, because George did. Because of course he did. <laughs> hey, nice going, George. Proud of you, man. <laughs> That's why we, we always make the joke that uh, George knows Tampa Skip and Thug One, because... Yeah, he does know it. He just doesn't look. He's waiting for us to find it. First. That's that's the fun yeah. part of all this. <laughs> uh, oh, nice yeah. hand, by the way. Yeah, um, that actually happened so late. I did not even realize till halfway through that that was the wrong level. You'll notice that I tried to minimize using the vehicle characters um, as much as possible. 
that's on purpose. They're they don't control nearly as well as your skater. They're a lot more limited in their move sets and capabilities. They like you you can't get off your board, which is a pretty big thing in this game. And it's just very annoying sometimes. Plus they like go slower on grinds for some reason. Which is completely opposite of everything. I am missing a goal. That is awesome. I forgot to tag the billboard during Arcade Machine. Oh, this is just falling apart at the seams. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. That's pretty good for your first time playing. Yeah, true. I've <laughs> never played this before. Yeah, so I was supposed to get that billboard um, after getting the Arcade Machine and then reset the Arcade Machine and then doing the sit flip. However, uh, I'm very scatterbrained right now, so I did not do that. But oh, man. we're done here. They passed out on a boat and wound up be in like India. that sometimes. You just need to get cranking on these trips. Out of the vehicles. Yeah, they're just. I. If you've never used them, imagine playing Tony Hawk with the N64 controller, and you have to use the stick, and you have Dessa trick list. <laughs> and then there you go. So accurate. <laughs> It's, right. uh, I don't know. Back then, I remember just being, well, because I was like a purist and I was just yeah. giving feedback, right. like, these are not fun, like, I'm not into this. And then I just, it makes me feel good. You know, 18 yeah. years later, we're just like, yeah, these are the worst. <laughs> it's like, I was right <laughs> back then. So I tried to implement a new strat I found yesterday there, where you butt slap off the, the brick, um, little planner there, but it requires a triple and I suck. So I had to go back to doing it the normal way. Feels bad, but hey, what are you going to do when you're bad? So we actually need to go to Paradise here twice. First to pick up this guy, and then finally talking to him unlocks the combo in there, so we'll go back later. But not before destroying this cop guy's cop car. And having an unskippable cutscene. The only one in the entire game. I think this is the only one. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, yes. Oh, nice. Okay, there we go. I did it. <laughs> All right, skill jump. Awesome. All right, nailed it. Also, you can just skate up stairs. Yeah, don't worry of about course. Or can you not? Right up, whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. That was a solid wall. I agree. These games are weird sometimes, where you just whack into something, and we haven't seen it yet. But there's also sometimes where any of the like thug one games later, there'll be like invisible objects in the world you just randomly hit it don't know why they appear but they just knock you off your board or mess up your combo i'm not sure how prevalent is in thug 2 but uh, really not that prevalent so hot rod trivializes that goal thankfully and catbag trivializes this one i can do five rotisseries instead of struggling to do two because i'm terrible Ace at the down left input. about yeah. doing rotisseries <laughs> <laughs> we just went from go-kart to hot dog vendor to like Ben Franklin grind, to yeah. graffiti, to like we just have to accept that that's Thug 2's like reality. Ah damn. Okay. Summed up in five seconds. So I need to do a focus heel flip here. Um, I try to do it off of that, but I hit focus a little too early. If you do it right as you're like still in the landing animation, it'll think you're finishing it rather than starting it and stop it. So mm. wasn't able to get it off there. So, hitting the dudes with the shrimp in this level, probably the worst part, because they're in very awkward situations. Like, I'm going to try and hit that guy down there, but watch this. Yeah, cool seagull. <laughs> uh, Mike Beetle the legend. This one of those top tier gameplay. One of those thug two things that. you just have to plan around, unfortunately. That's why I need to pick up, because you only get five of the shrimps, unlike the. Oh, that was not enough points. Supposed to be 5,000, I had 4,000. Like you TC get in TC's roof gaps is Team Chicken, who is a designer on the Tony Hawk. All right, so actually, I don't know if I actually properly I'm trying that again. So this is a deep. I should, it should work for the no comply. So this is something called a teleplant. So if I run into, it did not work. All right, I'm gonna do it again anyway, just because I'm mad that it, I kept no complying. All right, so if you bash your head into the wall and then immediately get off your board, it still won't work. Uh, don't worry, there's another one in New Orleans. Uh, <laughs> basically, once you caveman, you should stick or slap all the way back there. I'm not entirely sure how or why it works, but it is useful in two spots here, so... 
And uh, I hope I don't need that last bird. I do. Awesome. I am making mistakes I have not made it in literal years. This is awesome. That's how marathons work, man. This is amazing. Ugh. This run is really something else. Two of five beaver blasts. Also, you may notice that these gentlemen are uh, charred. They're not supposed to be. I think that's another <laughs> PC thing. I was just going to ask that. That must be a PC deal. Here we go. Nolans. Yeah. So, uh, so for Norlands, um, when you start off here, uh, the blimp can be, uh, the parade car can be in one of two spots. Um, it can be further away or it can be pretty close. Um, it's all RNG. Uh, it matters a lot when it comes to the 80 percent route. Because, uh, of course, if it's right next to you, yeah, but you can waste yeah. a couple seconds, which does matter for world record. It's, it's actually interesting because the good RNG float look is bad in this category because you want it to be going the, like, the quote-unquote bad direction. Because then after I do Mike V here, or like after Jester, then I can... Um, jump on the float and immediately get off the... So I'm checking real quick to see if it's coming this way or the other way. I think it's going the other way. Oh, yep. It was a little late on that. So I, I have to, unfortunately, board this float. And then... Uh, would you would you guess it? More throwing missions. And with the camera, it does not help. Mike V is not a great <laughs> thrower. Okay, yep. Double hitter. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Sometimes he's, really, sometimes he's Tom Brady. Okay. Sometimes he's one. not Tom Brady. You're out of the I got it on the last one. It's just like the vehicles are like good for the back of the box and like commercials. Like, whoa, you could do that. But then you yeah. get in the game and play it. You're like, wait, what? <laughs> Why is this here? Yeah. Good is this skateboarding? <laughs> oh, I like the trolley. Nice good vision. Is there a do a trick to the beat in every level in this game? No, thankfully it's just Boston and New Orleans. Although it's a lot more annoying in New Orleans since you're doing a lot more complex things. Where in Boston you're just kind of moving from rail to rail. Man. I'm so sorry. hey, uh, we'll be coming back <laughs> to that boat uh, a little bit later. You need to do a um, three stick slaps. Oh, yes. Thank um, you for bringing that up. I'm so used to not doing we, that. Yeah, we're. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have enough uh, jump to get there realistically. So we just you can, it's just there. very slow. So I end up doing yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like it's, 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 you can do it, but it's not realistic in a speedrun sense. It's just, you might as well just wait until you have a better opportunity later. All right. I, are you serious? I am not missing both teleplants. We're trying this again. <laughs> we got time. Please. Do it. There we go. Okay, I didn't like move that time. I. I Literally hate this game. I'll show it after the run. <laughs> this is just a marathon effect where everything you've ever known and loved just doesn't work anymore. So I used this mission to retry last goal and teleport back and actually do it. Uh, you'll see a lot of that in Skatetopia, so I thought I'd bring it up now before I do 70% uh, of the level with one restart point next level. These birds suck. That's all. Yeah, those birds. It's, okay, got it. Do you want a good jump? Uh, so in this game, you're in Thug One. If when you jumped up in the air, you have like a lot of mobility. In this game, it was heavily capped for one reason or another. Um, you can kind of only move forward or straight. You can't like sway side to side. So if you have yeah. a bad jump, you're just gonna miss a couple of the birds and you have to go back up. I did not get fast crips. If you um, grind the last crip fast enough after doing like the second to last one. You actually skip that small waiting period um, between the goal and the cutscene starting. However, I accidentally acid dropped, so I wasn't able to do it fast enough. There's River Boat Slapper. Killing zombies. But we're, we're, this is Resident Evil now. Yeah. Is this, is this guy on a birdhouse? Like, what team was this guy signed to? Uh, the Voodoo Doctor? Yeah. Is this a skater in real life, right? This is a skateboarding game, right? Um, yeah. The, it's so, it's so um, <laughs> oh, look at that camera angle. Yeah. Come, oh, so also, good. yeah, you can auto spin with every vehicle character for some reason. Actually, maybe not Jesse James, but you can you can auto spin with the gurney in Boston, though. So, you know, it kind of makes up for it. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. Uh, 
This game is just so ridiculous. True. Very true. That's kind of like the sound point of it. It was just, how ridiculous is We have Bam Margarine. Bam Margera. Also, I kind of breezed past it, but my favorite goal mission in this game, Super Trash, happened with the Voodoo Doctor, so that did not go unnoticed by me. Yeah, I mean, even all this, like, really crazy stuff is going on, like, you know, Nokia ads and whatnot yeah. sprinkled throughout. Uh, still, in my opinion, really solid mechanically for, like, playing. Absolutely. Like, just remove the hot rod here. manual. And not, not being able to do it here, but you can actually skip this mission. Um, yeah. Just like the Beaver House mission we saw back in uh, Australia. The best for you can skip this in any percent. Uh, and go straight thing. to Skatopia. So when you little dirt um, bags have all you I'm not going to talk about it too much more, but pretty much just uh, the cutscene skip using the phone. Um, using the warps right, and talking to Tony something. at the same time. Alright, Skatopia. This is probably the my favorite level in this run, just because everything is so centralized, you can use one restart point to do almost the entire level. So it's very quick, very simple, <laughs> I guess is the nice word. And I've missed both teleplants, so I'm not feeling good about this working, but this is technically slower, like a lot slower than the normal strat, but... Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. I let's feel this is skateboarding. I have to do the, the shimmy warp. This is, this is required. Please, please work. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Don't you dare, car. All right. So I get back worked. on my board, and yeah, Woo! here we go. Nice. Don't even attempt <laughs> to ask me how that works. I don't know. All I know is it's <laughs> awesome. And that's all that just, really matters. Just like we intended. Mm hmm. Heard here for first, folks. It was a developer intended strat. <laughs> so the way I activated that, like the initial thing, is um, you kind of find a ledge that slopes down to where you can't actually like fit, and then you hold back off of it, and then you'll enter that weird walking around shimmying state. And then I tried to acid drop on the side of that. Um, quarter pipe in like a special direction and it kind of like hit me oh nice i landed on the lamp and then when i jumped back on my board it let me do that because of course it did all right here's probably the hardest part of this level i have to do three goals all at once and i can't get off my board at any point so if i mess up i mess up all right cool got it all right so i got one long electric wire um, zipline wire bomb and over the house all at once there. Normally for electric wire you're supposed to grind the entire thing, but it just has like checkpoints it waits for you at. So, oh, nice ball ride. That was weird. And here's the other spot that you get soft locked. Like I, I can't move right now. So I have to retry last go. Uh, that's a PC port, by the way. Yeah, true. <laughs> All right, I have the car has not been in a good position yet. I want to be able to do a super sketch to go down, but it's not here. You know what? I'll wait for it. I got that cat. Yeah. I remember the designer of this level is like trying to convince everyone it was a good idea. No, let me just do. It's gonna be cool. Trust me. And it's so, like, okay, dude. So yeah, I forgot you could super sketch in the hot road. Yeah, <laughs> it works just like grinding for some reason. So. We're able to do that like twice as fast. In fact, I think waiting for it, I just wanted to do it for funsies. But I think that might have actually been faster because of where it was. So that's cool. Ah, uh, yeah, awesome. I can't count. Turns out Same. you need 50,000 points, not 48,900. Just to let you know. So now this mission downhill line that we've been using to reset to the entire level we're finally going to do it and it'll be <laughs> should be one of the last two missions and then we just got one more little car this is the last last one right yeah coming up hey look at that to celebrate our coming out of time relatively soon uh this, this is also one of those ones you can also skip by talking to Tony and then uh, yeah. as soon as you talk to Tony accepting um, the text message. Um, so 8% you skip this entirely, but 
kind of get the message a little earlier than you would want. I'll be honest, I tried to narrow plant there and messed up, so, oops. Oh my god, the Q-Bert goal, I forgot about this. Yeah, I missed one, I don't even realize it. Uh, I did not do it correctly, alright. That's fine, easy backup. And hit random part of the geometry. Oops. Oh. <laughs> so the reason I saved this one for last, even though this tech was supposed to be first, is because you can, uh, Use the speed from the top of the mountain to jump up and grind it faster. And whoops. Uh, I don't need the dogs. I'm fine. Right. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> uh, I need a replay of that. I looked like it was like one millisecond left. <laughs> and time. GG. Okay, Flash I didn't miss chat. it. All right, Dude, you awesome. should work for Neversoft. Yeah, I should. We also unlocked Shrek. That's the important okay. part. We right. have ascended. So I said time. And it was, but we got a little bonus run going on here. Dance with the devil percent. All right, let's go. <laughs> Did we approve this? Hold on. I need to talk to Big Law real quick. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's, I it's already like... messed up. This is like literally right. a minute. Don't worry. <laughs> well, this is the most run. I've ever s seen someone play this level. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very uncommon. So we activate the alien spaceship, which allows us to go to ancient Maya. We piss them off by defacing their their precious idols. Sort of, it's a little difficult. And then I miss a triple butt slap. All right, so you can move during this and grind, and I hope I'm grinding in the right direction. I am. All right, cool. Now we go to HE double hockey stick. <laughs> uh, have some ribs for dinner. <laughs> Open the seals. Oh, intricate. <laughs> and oh my God. we win. Here we go. The classic. There we go. All right. So, um, thanks you all for watching. I'm sorry the run did not go. Oh, I didn't show off plants. Hold on. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not giving this one. Out. Thing. <laughs> the game will not win. There we go. There we go. <laughs> we hey. <did. laughs> All right. So that did not go nearly as well as I wanted it to. But um, thank you all for watching. I know that was very chaotic, and I couldn't address a lot of the goals that happened there. Uh, hey, it was still an estimate. That's all that matters. Yeah. Thank you for that coming. That was amazing, on. dude. Andy and Packle, I very much appreciate that. For sure, man. That was incredible. Um, I don't really have any parting words. What's your <laughs> Twitch channel or YouTube or whatever? Oh, yeah. Um, I stream at Pokemon Ace 101. I have not rebranded since 2011. Uh, <laughs> you can just call me Ace. And if you two want to plug yourselves. Sure. I'm twitch.tv slash anti-thps or just anti-thps across the board. And I'm twitch.tv slash the packle and at Stripe across the park for me as well. Well, that was awesome, Ace. Nice job. Thank you very much. Um, yep. Up next will be the other side of the coin of Thug 2, which is uh, B running Classic. And it'll be Sick Mode, New Game Plus as well. So stick around for that. Yeah, what I said. Stick around. <laughs>